Hello everyone, so in today's video I'm going to be making a very quick and easy box doll for a briar, but of course you can make it for any type of horse you have. You're going to need an orange crate, something to write with, some type of glue and scissors, thin wooden dowels and, or skewers and popsicle sticks, some type of string, thin cardboard like from a cereal box, and pliers. The first thing you're going to do is remove all the paper and stuff from the orange crate. After you do that, you're going to need to remove one of the short sides. And to do this, you're going to want to pull off all the staples. And it can be a little tricky, but it usually does come off pretty well. Then you're going to take that side that you took off and you are going to glue it with the design side facing inwards onto the other short side. This is gonna hide both of the designs on both of the sides and the outside exposed piece should be wood or some type of cardboard or something so it all matches and you don't have this big orange logo on the back of the stall. <laughs> so it should look like this. After that, you're going to trace and cut out a piece of cardboard from a very big cereal box or a pizza box or something, and you're going to glue it onto the base of the orange crate. This way it won't scratch the briar's feet or anything like that, and it'll all match and there won't be holes in the floor of your stall. And if you have any type of splinter or flyaways, I guess, from the wood, you can trim those off and you might even want to sand them. Then you're going to start gluing popsicle sticks around the side of the crate. So on the long side, you can see I'm gluing two at the sides, one in the middle, and then one in the between each of those pieces. So I did that for both sides, and then I cut a smaller, I cut the popsicle stick to be a bit smaller to glue at the front. And then I did the same thing at the back, only this time obviously they were closer together because I used the same amount of popsicle sticks. So once you have that done all the way around, you can glue either a thin wooden dowel or a skewer on both sides. I also, um, for one of the crates, glued just some more popsicle sticks around there even though you had to glue a couple popsicle sticks together, but it did work as an alternative for the wooden dowel or skewer. Then you're gonna glue a shorter one on the back and then one on each of the corner pieces like this. So this is what the stall should look like now. Next, you're going to glue a smaller piece of a wooden dowel or skewer to the front. Now we're gonna make the gate for the front of the stall. So to do this, glue some popsicle sticks together like I'm doing here. And then I just cut some smaller pieces of popsicle stick to glue at the back to keep it all in place. Next, you can take another one and glue it across the center. And then if you choose, you could flip it around and glue another one on the other side. But I decided not to do this because I was running out of popsicle sticks. <laughs> Next, you're gonna glue some string onto two of the sides like I have here. And then you're going to glue a loop of the same string to one of the other sides. So then when you flip it over, you should have a good side on the front. Next, you're going to glue the other ends of those strings to the wall of the crate. This way, it can all open and close. The gate can swing open and then you can hook over the string to keep it closed on that piece we glued earlier. Another alternative to this, if you choose to, you could just glue a string across. This does look a little less realistic as the horses look like they can step over it, but if you wanted to do that, you can. So these might not be the most realistic stalls, but they're really easy to make, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.